Okay. Before I forget, I'm going to get a container. Oh, the hardware. First thing I want to do, uh, I want to take this off because I got a new sprocket, um, this one here, and I'm hoping, because this cost me a lot to get it shipped from the States, I'm hoping that goes on that, uh, that shaft. Okay, so as you can see here, that is, a, that is a big difference. This is 26 teeth, this is 15. That's gonna drastically change the, uh, that's gonna drastically change the gear ratio. So we're gonna have tearing this all apart anyways, but I just wanna make sure it's going to, uh, it's gonna work. So here's Copen, come on, ooh, lucky. Yeah, anyways, we're in good shape, so. That's gonna be the one you see go on in the future. Well, before I get all oily, I'm gonna take off the exhaust. Uh, that's getting getting the junk, getting the junk pile, so. Guess I could quit being lazy and go get the right socket. When I first got this thing, it looked like it had been neglected for a while. I put some, get out of there, I put some fresh fuel in it and it literally fired right up and it's fired up every single time first pull since I got it. And that's leaving it outside. This thing has lived its life up until recently outside and uh, yeah, I don't know what it is, it just tends to... Holy smokes, there we go. It just tends to fire right up. Okay, that's gonna be the end of that one. Should take it easy on this gasket. Might end up reusing it. it actually doesn't look too bad. do here just while it's handy actually I gotta quit screwing around I better cover up that uh, cover up that exhaust hole knowing me I'll drop something down it I might just put something in it here I got mice in this shop too so I wouldn't be surprised to have a mouse uh, jump down into one of these orifices Okay, as you can see, there's no filter in there right now. It's, I think I threw it out. It pretty much was disintegrated. I know it's an oh no, but I've been running this thing without a filter. But uh, yeah, so when the new one gets here, it's gonna basically mount here and uh, it's, I think it sticks out the side a little bit. So 
I'm just gonna leave that like that for now. Let's take off the gas tank and yeah. What is this? 11 mil. There's something I could fix too. I noticed here's the here's the electrical for an on-off switch. Probably what happened. Whoever had this before me probably had it wired differently than turning it on and off at the engine. Maybe they had a kill switch up on the steering wheel or something. I don't know. Okay, so let's find the hose here. I don't think I have too much fuel in here, but I don't want to spill. Maybe I'll disconnect it down here. I have a feeling that's going to be a bit of a headache. Right down, right down there. I'll I'm struggling a bit here to get the fuel line off the carburetor, so I'm going to take off this piece to open up the carburetor so I can see it, and then maybe I can access that fuel line a little easier. So, as you can see here, this is the connection between the carburetor right there and the top of the air filter or the air box which contains it all. So I basically just open that up. Uh, this piece actually I don't think I end up reusing with my new air filter. I believe what happens the new air filter mounts right onto the carburetor and I think it actually sticks out this way. Uh, yeah, so let's take off a few things here because we're going to have to likely reuse them put that into our jar I guess what I could do instead of doing that I could just put everything back on the studs here uh, regardless we'll just leave it how it is uh, now we have full exposure to the fuel line there's the fuel line and this is actually this carb is actually loose now I could take it right off that fuel line goes to the gas tank so I need to remove it I think I'll remove it right there Ah, oh, shit, right in the eye. Excuse my French. Jeez. Of all the places. Yeah, and I wash Station McGreen right now. Oh. 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 I guess the oil will lubricate the eye anyways. Oh, God. The gas, rather. Okay. Jeez, that wasn't fun. I'll survive oh god well uh, hindsight there's not that much fuel in here because fuel is not coming out right now I think any fuel that was left is in my eye god okay all right uh, okay let's unhook the linkages here so the carburetor 
can see what I'm doing anymore. So the carburetor is clear of the engine. Should be able to... Actually, you know what? Let's take this right off to start. Oh man, that's something. Don't do that. Don't flick fuel in your eyes. Should have my safety glasses on. Uh, all right, so carb's about ready to come off. The linkages are the only thing holding it there. Um, the linkages are connecting up with the governor. This is a, uh, I don't know what you call that. It's an arm that basically connects to a, a rod that has a bit of a hook on the end that goes down into the engine. This is the actual governor that you're gonna see inside the engine on this side, maybe in future episodes, uh, that I'm gonna take out. So this stuff here, this arm, that's gonna all come off. So carburetor should be good to come off. There it is there. We'll end up giving that a good clean. But uh, as you can see, if you were to look right down in there, you can see right past the choke into the, uh, well, into this butterfly valve here, uh, which is linked up to your throttle. All right, so we'll set that off the side. And I think the next thing that's coming off is I'm gonna take off the top assembly here. Okay, we don't wanna lose these springs either. I'm going to put that in there. Just back here. I think we're good there. Um, we're at the point now the engine's getting stripped down, so I think the last thing I'll do, I'll take off this arm. It's eventually going to be, uh, it's eventually, I think, going to be junked, but we'll see. Okay, let's drain some of the oil out of this thing. I wouldn't be surprised if the oil is pretty well molasses at this point. It's so cold out these days. I already broke that loose, so I'll open it the rest of the way and try not to drop this into the container. I don't think there's much in it, right? I don't know what's in it actually. What am I talking about? stop working first time I went out and gave this thing a good run I actually uh, burned the clutch so bad it melted the bottom so it got so hot in here it melted the bottom of the dipstick lesson learned and I'm just gonna see if I can get any oil to come out of the other drain plugs in the engine. Whoa, almost did it. Tell you, these Honda engines are solid. I've got a Honda lawnmower my dad gave me, and that thing's gonna outlive me. I think it's already out. I think it's already older than I am. But it uh, second pull, usually second pull, I can count on that thing, and that doesn't matter if it's been sitting in the shed for six months. Second pull fires right up. Well, guys, I think that's gonna do it for me today. It's nice and cold as you can tell here up in Canada. So it makes it real difficult to get out here and putter away at stuff like this. So we've done just about as much as I can do to take things off the engine to leave the bare block. 
All right, now there's a few accessories still on here, but we'll get to those. Now, next time around, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna dive inside the two to one reduction, take out the clutch assembly. I'm also gonna take apart the valve. Now, excuse me, take apart the valve springs so that we can put heavier duty valve springs in. And I'm also gonna start to dive inside the engine so we can get the governor right out of there so this thing can be free spooling and revved right to the moon. Anyways, thanks for watching. Before you go, please make sure you click the subscribe button and also the bell so that when I'm working on this next, you guys get a notification of that video. Thanks for watching, folks.